Hey there, today I wanted to show you a uh, really cool little AI machine learning uh, application that's been added into Obsidian. So it essentially uses GPT-3, which is machine learning text generation, to answer questions. So let me just give you a quick little example. We'll say, why is the sky blue? And then generate the text. And you get the answer. How about who founded Google? And then ask it. And you get the answer. So this is a really cool little program, which at this point, you know, this is, these are just some easy uh, uh, things that you could, could use Google for rather than ask who founded Google. You could ask Google who founded Google. But it's essentially machine learning using uh, OpenAI which was created by Google, uh, and you can run it natively inside of your uh, Obsidian. So some of the other cool applications, let's say, why did the dog go to the store? Which is a somewhat nonsensical question, but let's see, what is it gonna give us? The dog went to the store because it was hungry. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so right, you know, this is this is sort of a, more of an entertainment tool than anything else. But let's just say, uh, what is stoicism? If I could spell it, stoicism. And let's just say you're taking notes on a topic for a class or something. You're going to get s some interesting uh, feedback on your questions. Uh, another interesting sort of way you could uh, play with this is give it something more open-ended. Or something that doesn't have just like a, a really easy answer. Like, uh, why is YouTube the best platform in the world? Let's just say you want to do a video on that. Why, why is YouTube the best platform in the world? And you can ask it to generate some ideas for you. And you can do this more than once. It's a video sharing website. Okay, that's pretty analytical. What else is it going to give us? It's, gonna, it's thinking some more about it. There are many reasons why YouTube is the best platform. Oh, look at this. A lot of content, easy to use, free, accessible from anywhere. Oh, I mean, you got you got a whole YouTube uh, video idea right here. So this, and let me just show you how this is installed. So this is a community plugin called a uh, text generator is the name of the plugin. And you can see I have an API key here. So the way you install this is you go into your community plugins, browse, and then you choose uh, the name of the plugin. So. I have it installed, text generator, install it. But you can see it's not very big yet. But it essentially this is har harnessing the use of GPT-3, which is open AI, and I believe there is a daily limit. Uh, you have to create a you have to create an account. So let me show you the website. So the website is beta.openai.com. You just create an account, personal use, view API keys, and then you'll create a new key and then copy. And it is, if you click on text generator, it just goes right here. So you, you paste your API key right there, and then it works. So, you know, I don't know if this is the, the future of a predictive text or fill-in-the-blank type text, but it is definitely very fun. And you can get, let's just say you got sort of a block on something. So, yeah, like I have no idea what this is going to say. Obsidian is the best note-taking program because... And we'll see what it says. Simple to use, has a clean interface. So, you know, this is a somewhat generic, but it does mention add images, create lists, tag notes. And you can generate this as many times as you want, at least until you hit your daily limit. I do believe there is a limit. I haven't managed to hit it yet. I Sometimes you're going to get... Oh, look, and I got a new idea, search function that makes it easy to find specific notes. So this could be a lot of fun. I, I think a, it has a pretty useful application in the sense that if you just want answers to questions uh, that have a, that are, have a Googleable answer and you don't feel like going to Google, like what temperature does water boil at? There you go. 100 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, I think it has some interesting applications just for very simple generation. Also has, like I said, some uh, interesting functionality for just 
ID, you know, ideation where you just sort of have a, uh, a, you know, a writer's block for whatever reason, and you just want to generate some uh, things to bounce off of. Uh, I wouldn't use this for like a answer a project or something. You know, this is still being generated by going through the web and uh, pulling stuff from elsewhere. So there are definitely some plagiarism concerns. So more for personal use, not really for professional. Like, don't submit this as why YouTube is the best platform in the world. You're probably going to get yourself into some trouble that way. P plus, is it that well written? I mean, it's okay. It's not terribly persuasive, uh, but it definitely gives you a jumping off point. So I do think that uh, AI. You know, we talk we talk a lot about AI in the image space, but I think AI in the writing space is also it's just coming. It's it's on its way here. I uh, and to some degree, it's already arrived, but it doesn't rival, I think, human ingenuity, human uh, creativity at this point. But it, it does, it can be used and can be useful for more collaborative experiments where you just really need something extra to bounce off of. Uh, and also, honestly, this is just sort of proof of concept. I've seen people use a similar program within LogSec. I did not see a video on this inside of for Obsidian, so. Here is how you set it up. Here's what it does. Uh, have some fun with it, because honestly, it's just fun. I mean, you just goof around with it, feed it all sorts of random nonsense, and see what you get. All right. I hope this was uh, entertaining, and let me know if you have some more questions about this type of uh, you know, machine-type learning. All right. Thanks. Bye.